Okay, what I'd like to explain for you is cardiac CT scanning. And that's where we use a CT scanner, which is the thing that's got a flat bed and a uh, imaging donut around it, if you like. You sort of go partly into the scanner, your head remains out, and we take images of your heart. The reason why we think CT scanning is really useful is it gives us very precise images of what's going on with the heart in a particular individual. We tend to do the testing in two stages. The first stage is without any contrast at all, and we simply slice through the heart horizontally, and we look at it just like this. And you can see this is a normal-looking heart, and for comparison, this is an abnormal-looking heart. And I think you can see quite clearly these little white dots here. Yep. Those little white dots are calcium. Oh. And calcium is a marker of coronary disease. It's not the disease, but it's the marker. And so, in a very simple way, if we said calcium were the footprint of coronary disease, if you were to pitch your tent in the jungle where there's no tiger footprints, you'd be unlikely to be eaten by a tiger. If you were to pitch your tent in the jungle where there's lots of tiger footprints, you might be eaten by the tiger. We generally recommend that we do the testing in two stages. If this was completely clear, we'd probably stop at that stage for most people. Okay. If we do find an abnormality, then we recommend going on to the second stage of the test, and that's where we inject some contrast into the vein in the arm, yeah. and we track that contrast through the body and follow it through the heart, and that gives us really fantastic images of the heart and the blood vessels. And you can see that we've outlined those blood vessels very well. The reason for doing that is it gives us ex extra information. We can see if there's a threatened narrowing, we can see if there's soft plaque or a cholesterol plaque buildup, and we get a much better idea of the anatomy.